Okay guys, so now that you have your test project installed, let's um, let's see it in action. So python manage.py and then run server. And we're gonna wanna go to that link there. So let's go to mark and just do that and press enter to copy it. And jump into Chrome and paste it. Press enter. There we go. We have our first Django powered page, Django powered app working. So this is the basics. Um, from here, you can definitely follow along with the rest of the class. Um, so let me know if you have any questions. First and foremost, I uh, am gonna recommend that you delete, or well, let's see. So we wanna delete all the, the test project stuff that we did. Um, so just do a shift delete, perm delete these items, yes. And it's open in another program, so it's open in this. So let's hit control C to cancel that out. And let's get out of it. Okay. Try again. Alright, so it's all deleted. Come on to edit, save changes. No. We like it to close the yes. Let's close them. Do not save and there we go so now again if you remember it's really easy to start a new one so django admin dot py start project shopping and that shopping folder will open up so oh we still have that folder there's nothing in it but we still have it okay so with this, um, this is where you're going to start, and this is how you're going to get things going. And um, what you're going to want to do is just keep in mind that, you know, ls, when you see that on the Unix, it actually is dir, and that will pull that out. Um, other than that, you can follow along very well. Um, I want you to skip the MySQL stuff or the MySQL. Um, you just want to use the SQL Lite 3. Just keep with that um, because it's going to be the easiest for you to keep going. Uh, if you want to get in depth at some point, we will cover MySQL um, for Windows as well. So just keep that in mind. Otherwise, this is Windows. It's now set up and you can continue on with the class. All right, guys. See you next time.